In this next video, I am going to explore how we can add some different kinds of marks and really create some variety in your work. It is a natural and instinctive and fun way to explore how marks can be made, especially with non-traditional materials, which means I'm not going to use a brush. Instead, I'm going to explore possibilities with different things you can find around your house. In my exploration, I use a couple of materials, but you are not limited to just this. I use rubber bands around a cardboard surface in order to create a homemade stamp. I peeled some cardboard so that I can reveal the texture inside of the cardboard and I use that to create some lines. I painted on some buttons to make a circular mark which I repeated throughout the composition. I used a toothbrush to smear paint around. I gathered plants and paper to mask off an area, which basically means that I come cover up the underneath part of the painting and then use a brush to kind of smear the paint out around it. A cup I used to make curvy circular marks. And I also used stencils at the ends to make some marks that bring the whole thing together. Now, if you don't have stencils at home, you can make a temporary stencil by cutting a stronger piece of paper with an X-Acto knife, or I've even, just with regular scissors, cut up figures from inside magazines or interesting shapes from magazines to then use as a stencil. This is where wonder is going to lead us the rest of the way. Ask yourself questions like, what happens if I do this? I wonder what it would look like if I... Oh, I'm really loving this. We definitely have to add more of this. Or, eh, I don't know about this one. This didn't really work out. Maybe a little less of this. Mix up your materials, take some risks, and let wonder lead you through it. But if I'm saying that art is so much fun to make, it's natural, it's instinctive, it feels good, then why don't we make more art? Why is everyone not making art? And I really think it has to do with uncertainty and fear. So any of us who have created artwork know that there are a ton of frustrations that get in the way. Possible setbacks like, I don't have enough money to make art. I don't have enough materials at home. Or frustrations like, I'm very unsure about what I'm doing. I don't really think this is turning out. This is horrible. What if I cover up something I love? I don't want to do that. And it's really that self-doubt that starts to get in, that imposter syndrome of, I can't. I have no ideas. My work is never going to be as good as the work that inspired it. Or, I'm not even an artist. I don't know what I'm doing. Or, this isn't working, I don't like it. It's not coming out the way that I wanted it to. It's not planned, this is hard. I thought it was supposed to be easy. I thought making art was supposed to be easy. And I really think it's about the misconception about what art is, the idea that everything we make has to turn out perfect, this idea that art is only recreating the things that we see in reality, but that's not what it is. I think we need to release ourselves of expectations. I think we need to get more in tune with that intuitive process. We need to tell that critic when it shows up, listen, I get it, you're trying to save me. Maybe if I never make any art, then I can never make any mistakes and I'll never have to make bad art then. But the truth is that if we don't make bad art, we never make the good art. We have to make mistakes, we have to fail, we have to cover up some things that we might have loved, but it's all a part of the process because we learn from our mistakes. Also, the unexpected results might lead to even better ideas. You have a voice within you. You have an intuition within you. So let's get in touch with it. 
play around. Don't take yourself so seriously. Get your body involved. Loosen up. Get intuitive. Listen to your voice. Let it lead you. Let wonder lead you. Wonder can take the steering wheel throughout this. Curiosity can take the steering wheel. But fear, self-doubt, and criticism, that can maybe take the passenger seat or the pa or like the back seat or even the trunk. It can hang out back there. But wonder and curiosity and your intuitive voice are going to lead you through this process. 